there has been this spike in acute flaccid myelitis. What do we know about where it comes from and where do you think this is headed? Well, it's a very serious condition. It's a very rare condition, about one in a million. Um, we first recognized it in 2014 when there was an increased uh, incidence of acute um, flaccid myelitis, about 120 cases that year, and then a lull in 2016, about 149, and then a lull, and then this year we have about 155 suspected cases, of which 62 have been confirmed. Um, CDC has been working very hard on this since 2014 to try to understand causation, etiology. Um, as we sit here today, we don't have uh, uh, understanding of the cause. Uh, we are, um, you know, continuing to strengthen our efforts, working in partnership with state and territorial health departments and academic experts uh, to uh, uh, try to figure this out. Um, and uh, I recently asked again to um, put together a, a task force to really try to look at where we're at and what else could we do to try to solve this problem. The good news is that um, it doesn't appear to be transmissible from human to human. We don't see clustering in families. Um, I want to make it clear to the American public, it's not polio, right? We're confident of that. Uh, I do think that this is a new uh, occurrence in the United States, uh, the AFM. Our, our suspicion is it's caused by a, a single agent. That's the dominant uh, disease that we're confronting right now. Um, I was saying the other day to my colleagues, you know, when the AIDS epidemic started, CDC f formed a task force and was able to figure out etiology in three years. Really, in retrospect, that's remarkable. The way you do that is you form a very strict case definition. It's not that you want to include everybody that might have it. You want to be certain that everybody you include has what you're looking for. And of course, that's why there's some discrepancy sometimes with CDC when we say these are the cases we've confirmed and maybe the states may report others that are suspected. We're trying to get a very solid group of individuals that we're confident have this new mysterious syndrome that we can then use to try to understand etiology.